next one 2006 Kia Sorento we're about to do a starter couple simple steps to get it out and install it first thing you need to do in my case you need to disconnect the battery but mine is already disconnected Battery is okay. multiple jobs but once you disconnect the battery the car is jacked up off the floor you gotta get on it once you want the car there's a skip plate you can remove it if you want to you don't have to but for me I like space so I'm gonna remove it it's 14 millimeter box I'm using a coilless impact Light up under there now and locate the starter. Once you're up underneath, here's the starter right here. There's two bolts inside of it that you gotta come from the back and see. There's one to the bottom. I'm trying to get you to see closely. One to the bottom and one right up above it to the top. So we gotta get those bolts out and then slide the starter backwards. Now that we're up under the car, we're going to use 14 millimeter short socket and a swivel, an extension. You can do it with your reach up in there. We're going to put that on. I'm going to use my cordless impact to zip the bolt down. Installing a new starter, same process, just do everything in reverse. You take the cable, you hook it to the solenoid. Once you get that, you reach up and you put that power cable back on and your nut. Always hand tighten it first. used to using cordless tools or anything, I recommend that you use hand tools. Simple ratchet to tighten that nut back up. Because if you're not used to it and you tighten with the power tool, you can mess that bolt up. That shows that you wouldn't have no arc in a little 
zip, touching. Now we gotta slide it back up and line it up with the transmission. Push it up there. Line it up. Once that's done, everything is back together on the on the bottom. Uh, you connect your battery back. I can connect the terminals back, and that's how you place your starter. And uh, 06 Kia Sorento, very easy, nothing hard to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe.